Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Wolf Pilot channel. I think I'm going to have to start calling this uh, series Airplane Workday. And maybe it'll just be like some of my other uh, shows on the Wolf Pilot channel. Flying with hams, flying with friends, flying with family, whatever, starring so-and-so and such and such. Anyway, this video is, a, is an uh, avionics update. We have uh, the final stack here. We've got uh, the Garmin GI275. We have a, a Uvionics AV30C. It is certified. We have the Garmin GMA347 audio panel, the Garmin GNX430W with WAS, and, of course, the Garmin uh, GNX330ES with extended squitter does ads be out. This is a very, very exciting day. Um... Everything should be uh, done. I mean, you'll notice the table's a little bit cleaner. I've started packing up all the w extra wiring and stuff. I got a little bit more of that trash to throw in the box. This will be going back to my friend Paul Williamson, who flies the Comanche 70, 70 Papa. I'll be flying that plane soon. <clears throat> anyway, uh, just uh, so you know, this... ACK30, who knows, it's kind of rusty and crusty, but it looks like it's logically alive, even though it's transducer. I think it's nuked. Um, everything is being protected by a 5-amp uh, circuit breaker is in line with my jumper clip here, in case anything goes seriously wrong. Interestingly enough, all these avionics work in standby, and the 5-amp breaker does not trip, which is a good thing. Anyway, uh, here's how we do this, folks. Got one minute rolling on the clock. I'm gonna walk over here to the bat, my power supply. That thing right there is a float charger. It's, it's going through this dongle in here. We have a uh, alligator clip. Oops, let me get my ground wire back on there and alligator clip. Got a little bit of a spark right there. You'll notice that my two displays are powering up. So let's go ahead and crank up. Everything here. Try to de junkify the table here as much as possible. Let's see if I can't. Now, the biggest by far rat's nest mess in the wiring here is the audio panel because there are so many wires coming into the back of this thing that go to headsets, microphones. Uh, all that jazz. I mean, just a, I mean, it's thick, non-compliant wire. Um, by compared, well, I mean, the AV30 even had a, a, a handful of wires here. I've uh, wired in a service port, a DB9 female for service. Um, the outside air temperature, I elected to do that in a Molex. One of the things that I, my big idea and picture is, is that this harness hopefully will be completely removable from the aircraft um, should something need to be added or subtracted from the package, uh, using Molex connectors were possible ring terminals, uh, everything here, all the power leads will all terminate into uh, ring terminals. Not this one. Uh, it's obviously oversized for the wire. Um, okay, that can be over there. Okie dokie. All right. Blinkin. I have a thing right there. Let's see here. All right. So right now, when you first power on the... I got to do something about this light. This sucker's way too bright. Turn it up here and increase the ambient lighting. Those LEDs will absolutely just burn your retinas completely to the ground. Curious to know why that... So right now the... Uh, this looks like hell on the screen. Inquiring and... Um, we have 3D satellite lock. Audio panel is on. Uh, to note, I got this uh, audio panel with 
with this uh, ComNav GPS from my friend Scott Purdue. Uh, gave me a really good deal on it. The panel, I mean, logically appears to be working, although I've noticed that the buttons are not that res responsive. You got to kind of push on them kind of hard. Click, not going off, not going off. Push hard, push, push. Oh, now it goes off. So I suspect I need to pull the whole front off this thing and just clean all the contacts underneath of it. Uh, so we have GPS working here. AV30, you'll notice I've got GPS track there. Um, God, look at this beautiful CDI. I mean, this thing is just, go over to the HSI map, nothing going on there. It's HSI, standard HSI there. Go back to the CDI. I can push CD. It's touch screen, folks. Push this, boom, push that, go to GPS. I don't expect that to actually do anything um, until uh, I actually get a fix. But, so right now my track is 61. Let's see, where was this thing? So to confirm that this thing's actually doing something correct, let's just go over here. Hey guys, I want to go direct to, let's let's fly to, uh, I just say Addison because it's just that few knob turns to actually get to CADS. Oops, I should be focusing on this. CADS, enter, and enter again to activate. And you'll notice my 267 is my track, and I should have videotaped it that instantly changed to 267. This GNS is talking to the GI. That's cool. This is talking. Uh, that, I'm assuming that's working. Um, I've got uh, A344 Tango programmed into Transponder. I have, uh, I, I have no no messages look mom no messages it's, it's happy with everything so I'm saying I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in the box uh, and carry it to the hangar after I get done having lunch because I have wired all I can wire and short of trying to throw some dip zip ties on a few things and kind of get these wires a little bit more organized on the harness folks I'm done I have wired this thing. I've got tried to stay pretty organized. Um, got multiple three ring binders over here. Got the label, uh, handy dandy label maker. I'll be uh, throwing labels and all that. Uh, all the wiring. You will notice I've got little flags. I've picked or flagged everything here so I know what, what's what and where. And uh, again, more more of the Molex connectors. That'll be for this one in particular is for the cockpit, the overhead speaker. Um, again, should I ever need to service anything or add something to the harness, I want to be able to reach underneath or pull out all the avionics, take all the connectors loose, disconnect from the breakers and the ground bus bar, and literally drop, pull out the whole harness. And it would be kind of a little bit messy, just like doing it on a car when you have to do a major uh, electrical harness service or replacement. Um, I'll, you know, there'll be mic, the headset jacks, they'll have to be disconnected or just removed from the panel and floated so the harness can come out and then it'll all just, you lift, you'll lift it back into the airplane and, uh, tighten everything up and Bob's your uncle. So far as I can tell folks, everything is working. Um, the next videos you'll see is, uh, us preparing to remove the old avionics package from 4-4 Tango. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, yeah. Copilot Rudder. He's not amused.